driving a BMW M5, and there was no braking, according to our investigators, when they completed the investigation, so there was no marks of any braking. Uh, the vehicle was traveling northbound and struck from behind. At the impact was at 151 miles per hour. Hey guys, what's up? Inksmith back again, and today covering a bit of a different downfall, and this is dealing with TikTok. Now, TikTok has a lot of trends that people seem to want to follow, whether it be for clout, internet fame, whatever. And this is a new trend I knew little to nothing about, and that apparently is the speeding trend. And this is where a TikToker will speed down a street highway, uh, a back alley that nobody's using, or a strip of road, or maybe even if they're not so careless, an open speedway that they can rent some time on. They will then clock their speed or show their speed via camera. Now, how they do this is different for each person, and I'm not saying this is always 100% illegal. Like I said, if they're renting an actual speedway or renting a high-performance car in a special area where this is accepted or allowed, that's okay. But of course, there's always those who abuse a trend, and it leads to a horrible situation. And that's what we're doing Today is covering someone known as Noah Gale, who decided to make this one of those unfortunate situations. Now, Noah had already started his TikTok rise to fame by showing not only how fast he could go in his car, which was a BMW M5, a model that, even though I'm not really a car guy, know quite a bit about because my dad actually owned this car. Now, the acceleration and the speed that this car can go is something that's used for test tracks at times or even as a rally car. And this car is definitely something that you could take to some dangerous speeds. In fact, I've been in one of those myself, but it was actually on a test strip where it was legal. This car can accelerate zero to 60 in a very short time and if pumped to its highest level of speed would reach an amount that would be extremely dangerous to have on an open road where just about anybody could be driving. This is how Noah Gale started. His TikTok career was by saying, guess my speed in the comments or in the title of the video. If the person was able to guess how fast he was going, he would then not only show that it was upwards of 120 to 180 miles an hour, he would then pay them out a simple sum of $25. I'm not sure how this is alluring enough to make somebody rise to fame on TikTok. Nonetheless, this was Noah Gale's rise to fame was by doing these stunts. Now, the thing that really kind of blew my mind is when I found old footage of these videos, it was quite apparent that when he was driving, the only person filming was himself. And while he's filming these videos, mind you, one hand is on the wheel and one hand is showing the road ahead of him and slowly going up and down between the speedometer and the road. That means he only has one hand on the wheel at the time of going over 120 and over 180 miles an hour. In fact, he had already dealt with multiple tickets of breaking speed limits in multiple areas. And although he hadn't spent any time in jail, his parents had had to bail him out of some serious legal situations in the past for doing absurd amounts over the speed limit. Now, it's already absurd to watch these videos of teenagers giggling and laughing as they push their car to the limits and drive these kind of speeds on the highway, but Noah Gale's situation reaches the point where it becomes not just absurd, but tragic. For on January 2022, he decided to speed down Highway 7 in Delray Beach at 150 miles an hour. During that time, six people were pulling out of work to simply do a carpool ride home. He not noticing that they were coming out at the time and of course, filming an idiotic 
TikTok video crashed into them at that full 150 miles per hour speed. He then killed every single person in the car. Six people dead in a matter of seconds over a stupid TikTok trend. Now, I'm not gonna go out there and demonize all of TikTok. Every single social media platform has had its evil produced by people who create the content. This is not a social media problem. This is a content creator problem and a follower problem. People who would follow or push on or egg on, anybody doing this sort of absurd behavior is guilty of not only giving these people clout, but pushing them to take more and more extreme levels of excitement within their video to the point that at this, it became deadly, tragic, and sadly, the end of six people's lives. Of course, to show all this and document it, I'm going to first let you see the news coverage of it, but also read an exact account of what went down, not just to talk about how idiotic this man's behavior was, but also to represent what is so often forgotten, the actual victims of this crime. Miles per hour and crashing into a car, killing six people on State Road 441. A 17-year-old driver rear-ended an SUV at a high rate of speed. He did make a bond court appearance. Again, bond was granted, and that is not sitting well with a woman who lost her mom in this horrific crash. It's been very, very hard. As the victims were carpooling and leaving work, authorities say he slammed right into them. Five died on scene, and one victim died at a nearby hospital. More than two months later, deputies say they've arrested the teenager. He appeared in court on Tuesday, where a judge granted him a $300,000 bond, plus the conditions of no driving and house arrest. Now, following through with what the news actually said on this, this says Florida teen accused of driving 151 miles per hour in a crash that killed six people. Noah Thomas Gale, 18, had a history of recording himself speeding through Southeast Florida in a 2019 white BMW and later posting the videos on social media. A criminal affidavit states, his Instagram handle was displayed on the car windows, and in at least one video, Gail offered $25 to anyone who could correctly guess his rate of speed, according to the report. On January 27, 2022, one of those stunts turned fatal. A Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office report states, That evening, Gail, driving the BMW at 151 miles an hour, struck the back of a 2018 gray Nissan Rogue, causing the SUV to flip multiple times before coming to a halt, according to the report. All six people in the Nissan Rogue, which landed upside down, were killed. When interviewed by law enforcement at the scene, Gail, then 17 when this happened, confirmed he was the driver of the BMW which had no other occupants, court records state. Authorities on Monday charged Gale with six counts of vehicular homicide. He was pleading not guilty at the time. On the night of January 27th, Gale raced the BMW M5 down a Delray Beach Highway, the affidavit states. Then, close to 11 p.m., a Nissan Rogue turned onto the road. Gale's vehicle allegedly rammed into the back of the Nissan, sending it flying several feet and killing its six occupants. Five of them were pronounced dead at the scene, and one was pronounced dead later at the hospital. Authorities identified the victims as Merlane, Julius, Ramise, Mikael, Marie Lewis, Michael Saint, Flaine Douay, and Venice Persina. If I've mispronounced any of those names, I apologize, sorry. The six were colleagues exiting the farm where they worked, police said during a news conference. As Gail was taken to the hospital to be treated for an ankle injury, yes, that's all that Noah Gale received was a simple ankle injury, an officer asked him, hey, how fast do you think you were driving? Court records state, he allegedly responded above 120 miles an hour. Gail was transported to Delray Medical Center where an emergency room doctor told law enforcement that Gail said he was going 120 miles per hour at the time of the collision, according to the affidavit. 
A day after the crash, a woman contacted the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office and told investigators she had taken screenshots of the teenager's Instagram and TikTok videos in which he allegedly recorded himself driving at extremely high rates of speed. Days later, the same woman emailed investigators a video of Gail allegedly speeding on Interstate 95, which he had posted to his Instagram account. Gail allegedly posted the video two weeks before the car crash. The caption, according to the woman, read, Whoever can guess the speed correctly wins $25 on Cash App. On February 24th, police obtained access to Gail's Instagram account through a search warrant. Investigators found a video of Gail driving the BMW on I-95 at 182 miles per hour, court records state. During a court appearance Tuesday, Gail's attorney argued that the teenager is suicidal and should be released to his family. Since the night of the accident, Your Honor, he's had a very difficult time dealing with the tragedy, and he's been seeing a psychiatrist, defense learned Liz Parker said. Oh, poor him. Gosh, it must be so hard. You know, he didn't lose any family members in this crash, so uh, really feeling so bad for him. The victim's family members also took the stand and described a life without their loved ones. Some had young children, WPBF reported. Pero Family Farms, where the six victims work, set up a fundraising page to help the families. This has been a very, very hard situation for my whole family. My sister and I, and my daughter, Marie Louise, daughter Lindy said at the court hearing, covered on that time. She's eight. Every time she comes home, she's been asking, why can't grandma come back, mom? My mom was very loving and a devoted woman. She added, I think that the defendant should be in jail and not at home. We can't see our families now and why should he? Yeah, I completely agree with this statement. This was a very reckless crime and not just for my mom, everybody's lives. We need justice. By the end of the court hearing, the judge agreed to place Gail on house arrest. So he gets to stay at home anyway. He still gets to go home and see his family. He must be supervised by his parents, refrain from driving, and have no contact with the victim's family. On Thursday, a judge ordered Gail to be transported to a hospital to undergo a mental health evaluation before he returns home, court records show. So this creep gets all the special treatment. This is another situation of affluenza. This is a, I guess, modern dictionary term, which means a kid who has a split with reality because they have so much money and so much acceptable things that they can do to their parents who have a wealth to always bail them out of any situation they get themselves into. Another situation where a family's wealth gets a kid out of having to go to jail for the time that he's waiting to be tried. And the worst part about all of this is if you look into this case, you'll find out he's pleading not guilty. That's right, the guy with a sticker on his car that was the car in the crash that has his Instagram on it and that Instagram page having the videos that show him going at reckless levels of miles per hour has said he is innocent and it wasn't him driving at the time. Of course, he was the person there when the police interviewed the person in the crash. He was the person who reported how fast he was going when the crash happened. He was the only occupant in the car when the crash happened. He was the only person who went to the hospital for his ankle injury after this. So I know a lot of YouTubers, when they cover some of these stories, they always say, allegedly, allegedly, I'm not going to do that, okay? This guy is as guilty as they can be. He's taken six lives away from six very loving families, left people without mothers, grandmothers, sisters, etc., and should be locked away for the amount of time each life grants. Whether that be six life terms, so what? They don't get to live out the rest of their lives, so why should he? Anyway, guys, what are the dumbest trends you have seen followed on either? YouTube has it too, so, you know, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, whatever people use, Instagram, Snapchat. What are the dumbest trends you have seen? And what are trends that you think 
are detrimental to the youth. Not just the youth of America, the youth worldwide that can lead to horrible tragedies like this that endanger not only their lives and their futures, but the lives and futures of others involved in these pranks, dares, challenges, whatever you want to call them. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to have your input. What do you think about this situation? Is there any chance he's going to get away with this? I really, really hope not. I remember a case not too long ago, probably about seven or eight years ago, another kid who was speeding. Now, this wasn't a TikToker. This was kind of before TikTok's big rise, but he got out of all of his, I guess, punishments because of the money his family had. And he tried to run away to Mexico. Probably somebody I will cover in a future video. I can't remember the name offhand right now, but I remember him getting away with this. And this is what makes me worry about this person getting away with it. That they could just say like, oh, it was just negligent homicide that, oh, he didn't know how fast he was going and he accidentally did this or, oops, he didn't know he was gonna actually ram into somebody. His purpose wasn't to kill someone that day. But when you drive that level of speed on the road, you are driving a deadly weapon. And that's like saying, well, I was shooting my gun around the neighborhood, but I didn't expect anybody to actually get shot. You're literally wielding a deadly weapon and people die when that happens. Responsibility is 100% on Noah Gale in this situation. And I don't see anything different. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Until next time, I am Inksmith, and I will talk to you again real soon.